Today I'm going to talk about one of my ancestors, Peter Layla. Peter Layla is one of my mother's ancestors. Her name is Sarah Layla. As you may know, Peter Layla led the Eureka Stockade. But for those of you who don't know who Peter Layla is, or what a Eureka Stockade is, I'm going to tell you a story about how my ancestor turned from poor gold miner to heroic leader. In 1852, brothers Peter and Richard Layla, Irishmen, migrated to Australia in search of better opportunities, as life was hard in Ireland after the Great Famine. Soon after they arrived in Australia, they came upon work building the railway between Melbourne and Geelong. But, in 1854, Peter left his brother to try his luck at gold mining, and laid a claim on the Eureka lead. This was a section of land where gold was found. The gold miners worked very hard all day at the mines. But though they worked hard, the government and the police made them pay expensive gold mining license fees and substantial amounts of money for monthly gold taxes. At the end of the day, the miners had barely enough money to get by. So, the miners formed the Ballarat Reform League. The league demanded that three imprisoned miners were released. They also demanded that the laws about gold licenses and gold taxes be changed. To this, the government said no, and they increased the hunts for gold miners without licenses. The gold miners were extremely angered at this, and not so long after, on the 29th of November, 1854, the Ballarat Reform League held their first mass gathering on Bakery Hill. Twelve thousand men gathered, the Southern Cross was raised, and Peter Layla spoke publicly for the first time. Our demands have not been met. Yeah! yeah! We call on all diggers to burn their licenses. We pledge the protection of the United People. For any diggers arrested for not having... Yeah! We swear by the Southern Cross to stand truly by each other and defend our rights and liberties. Yeah! I nominate Peter Layla as our new leader. I second this motion. Say aye if you agree. Aye! I expected someone who is really well known to come forward and direct our movement. However, if you appoint me your commander-in-chief, I shall not shrink. No render it contemptible with cowardice. Over the next two days, both sides prepared for battle. The miners built a stockade and prepared their weapons. But Peter didn't expect an attack straight away. In the early hours of December 3rd, the troopers ambushed the stockade. About 30 of the miners were killed, hundreds taken prisoner, and many more were injured, including Peter. Peter was shot in the arm and collapsed, becoming hidden under some logs. After the troopers left, some of the miners helped Peter to, to a safer place to hide. Peter's injured arm had to be amputated. Peter Layla stayed in hiding until the following year, when an investigation changed the laws, introducing a new mining license for one pound a year, and monthly gold taxes were abolished. The other miners were released from jail, and Peter Layla returned to Ballarat. And in the end, Peter became a well-known politician in Victoria. Well, that's my story, and the next time you think about your family, maybe you should think about whether you have an ancestor like mine.